guys. What's up? What it do, kangaroos? <laughs> We've seen lots of people do drama life, so we thought we would do it ah! too. And accept. Actually, maybe we shouldn't do it. Hashtag. Let's do drama relationship instead. Yay! Woo so this is how it all started. We first RTR. met at a football game, of course, Alabama Roll Tide Roll. And I saw this hot guy and I was like, oh she my god, so he is sexy. so hot. No, he was hot. But I was dating somebody else and he was too. Well, no, you weren't. I was, but he was still hot. Yeah, of course. Okay, so then a few months later, my friend Brooke said, hey, you wanna go to a party with me? And I was like, uh, I don't know, probably not. I really don't wanna go to a party. And she's like, well, you really should come because the hot guy from the football game is gonna be there. Sizzling. Sizzling hot. And I was like, Roll time. OMG, okay, fine. I'll go to the party, jeez. <laughs> so we pulled up to the party and what do you know? Who's that guy walking? That's that's the party right there. You can see what the Can you see the party? Oh, so exciting. <laughs> there was this guy on top of the car, not peeing. He was walking on his hands down the car. And I was like, who's this? And she's like, oh, that's the hot guy from the football game. What? Seriously? That's how I do. That's how I do. Always. So then in walks Miss Beauty Pageant herself. <laughs> And I'm the hot guy right there. And I'm like, OMG, he is just as hot as I remember. Sexy mm, girl. Ooh la la. You want a drink? <laughs> <laughs> so then we were just hanging out at the party, chilling, having a good time, not doing inappropriate things, Colin. <laughs> why would you draw that? I'm dancing. And I was, I don't know what the arrow is. Apparently <laughs> he can dance without his legs on the ground. Yeah. You're jumping and dancing or something. I don't know. So I'm in another room just chilling with my buddies and hanging out. And I have to leave. It's time for me to go. So I'm like, hey, by the way, guy that I talked to for a little no! bit. No! I gotta go. He says, no, I don't think so. Come here. He grabs me, throws me over his shoulders, and I'm like, story. this guy is crazy. What is no! he doing? And he takes me and takes me into the other room and throws me down onto the couch and is like, no, you're not leaving. And he was joking, obviously. Again, not inappropriate. <laughs> no! So he was like, no, you can't leave. This is not okay. So I was like, well, I guess he likes me if he wants me to stay, but so I ended up leaving anyway. So the next day I called her friend, Brooke. They already knew each well, other. Yeah, me and Brooke already knew each they other from friends. high school. So I had her number. So I dialed that girl up looking for the girl I threw on the couch the night before. And he got my number. And Brooke's like, oh my God, he's gonna call you. So hello, so many days passed. I'm like, is he gonna call? What the heck? <laughs> I was playing that game. It was game. only about three days. I was but playing that game. it seemed like forever. What a player. <laughs> so then finally I was sweating right here he I calls, wasn't crying and I was so excited and I don't have a little person in my mouth I was just excited and I was like <laughs> oh my god oh my god he's calling he's calling he's calling what am I gonna do and so he called and the we first night we talked all night long we talked forever I think we were on the phone for like two or three hours and we just talked and talked and talked and I was like is he ever gonna ask me on a date serious business but finally. And then finally I did, and we went on our first date. I took her, we went to where? We went to the movies and we went roller skating. We tried to go roller skating, it was already closed. And then finally I took her to this spot up above the city overlooking everything. It was so pretty and I was like, oh gee, is he gonna try to make out with me? Hey, but baby. he didn't. He was just wanting to show me something pretty. And then we got arrested. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a calendar. So we went on our first date on a Thursday night. So he called me the next morning, came by my house to see me. We went on dates every we day like for like, all the time. seriously, no, this was dating. Like we went on dates every day for the next little bit. And after 10 days, we said, I love you. And then we watched the movie, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. That Remember was our that? first date. We watched it on our first date. <laughs> but anyway, so seriously, that soon I was like, OMG, I really think this guy is the one. What in the world? I, I was like, I what? The guy of my dreams. Well, I didn't tell you that. But the sad thing was, he was still living in Birmingham and I was living in Tuscaloosa. RTR. So I was at my parents' house. No, I was with my roommate. Yeah, and you're so sad. But we lived apart for two years. We did the long distance thing and we were like, woohoo, two years, we did it. So after the two, after about two years, things kind of started getting a little bit rocky. And I was like, I'm not sure. Things are kind of weird. I don't know if he is the one. So yeah, I wasn't sure if she was the one either. We kind of went our separate ways. Actually, I broke up with you, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so we broke up for two months and then during that time we Cullen called me every day not really no I did not Whatever. you wanted me back I did, you begged I did, and I pleaded did. for me to come back 
And then I realized, I was like, actually, you know what? I don't know if I can live without this guy. She, I, I, I've worked the magic. I don't know what he drew in my mouth, but. Again, so, not inappropriate. Why do you always jump we on me like that? We were reunited. Yeah, I, I love just hugging you. So you gave me the googly eyes and we got back together. And that was August of 2005. So we've been broken up for two months. Got back together. And that was Mississippi. That was Mississippi, not Alabama. Come on, Colin, <laughs> get it right. So then finally, after a little bit, you moved to Tuscaloosa too. I could not be away from her any longer after the two a month hiatus. I and we decided. were like right down the street from each other. It was so great. For the first time, we actually got to see each other every day. And then I started thinking, I think I'm getting married. Whenever you get so close to somebody like this, OMG. She's still a hooker. You're a jerk. Why would you call me a hooker? <laughs> so I started thinking and started looking for rings. It I was, was like, OMG, is he going to propose? So he took me to a picnic on top of the mountain where we had our first date. And I was like, he's going to propose. It was time. So I busted out this ring. It was blinded by the light. And I asked her the big question. Will you marry me? And I said, yeah, obviously, duh. <laughs> so we were engaged and we were getting married and it was so exciting. We had the best wedding ever. We had all our groomsmen. We were going to the chapel. And we're gonna get, get married. That might have been the worst harmony ever. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it so was the best day of my life. Wedding. Oh, it was the best day of my life. No, I, I do. do. No, I do. No, I do. Yeah. So when we got married, we ended up living behind her parents' house in the garage apartment. <laughs> Not in jail. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had our little puppy dog. That's a little puppy dog right there. And then our two little kitty cats. And it was a two bedroom, little two bedroom place. It was just the right size for us. It was close quarters, but it was close to where I was going to grad school. So we lived there for four years. I drove back and forth to work. I played Xbox. I did all the stuff, making the money. Not really. And I was in grad school, so I was working all the time and studying and writing papers and all that junk. So finally the end of grad school came and I had to get an internship. So I started going on interviews around the Southeast trying to figure out where are we gonna go. I was playing Xbox the whole time while she was doing all this. Xbox was kind of nice during that time. <laughs> so um, we weren't sure where we were gonna go and it was a big question mark. So we, were, we knew we were gonna stay in the Southeast and the USA is a little funky looking. I apologize for that. <laughs> Finally, I matched at an internship in Tallahassee. So we packed our junk up and moved out and said, hey, wait, what's this YouTube thing? So I started watching YouTube and we ended up getting a flip and started the daily vlogs. That's when the daily vlogs started. We decided, hey, we need to find a way to get our parents and friends and family in touch with us and stay updated on everything while we're gone. So we started making vlogs for a whole year. We're gonna do it for a year, guys. So while we were in Tallahassee, I sat behind a desk. I worked from home for a year. I started thinking about YouTube more. And I was on internship working and being crazy. And it was really hard to stay sane, but the vlogs definitely helped with that. YouTube was a big part of keeping us sane. <laughs> Don't you think? I agree. Yeah. It, it was a lifesaver. So we started making friends on YouTube and we started realizing like, wow, we actually have people that watch our videos. This is so cool. And we made, we've so far made some of our best friends on YouTube and, and we, making these relationships. And we fell in love. And we fell in love with each other even more too. I felt like it really helped grow our relationship as well. Then you know what comes next. We did the vlog TV. We danced all night. We had fun. We had our own little parties. And it really, really did strengthen our relationship as well as our relationship with other people. So it was about time to get ready to move back to Alabama. So we started we looking start for looking a house houses. and it was kind of crazy. Screw you Penske. Stupid Penske truck. <laughs> we had to pack up everything again just a year later and get on the road and pack everything and be moving back to Alabama. Screw you Penske. So after much turmoil over finding a house long distance and getting it all situated, we finally were on our way back and we finally had the house of our dreams. Look how cute that little thing is. We were so excited to finally know that we were going to get to stay in one place with our pets. We had little Adabelle and, our, and Emma and, and, and I mean, our kitty cats. No Emma, we didn't have Emma we yet. We haven't had Emma yet. We had Allie and Whitaker. Oh, there she is. And then Emma came in after a couple months. <laughs> Roll Tide. So, always appropriate. So we were getting all settled and enjoying life in our new house and started thinking what's time missing to grow. In our lives. We need to grow. We need a bigger family. Maybe it's time to start having babies. Semicolons. Little baby semicolons. And our love grows bigger and bigger and when your love grows And we got a positive makes... test on a pregnancy. Yay, baby. But then, then eight, eight weeks, weeks later passed, and we went for our doctor's appointment and found out sad news that we lost our baby. Little that baby didn't make hard. it. That was very hard. So we reached out to YouTube. We didn't, we had t trouble deciding if we wanted to post anything and we decided it was God's plan. 
And we, we were so overwhelmed with all the love and everything that we got from you guys. And we have now have peace that we know God's plans are better for our lives. Definitely. I love you more. No, I love you more. No, I love you more. No, I love you I this love you much. More. Uh -uh. Aw, you're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the end. Wait. What? Is it? Actually, it's just the beginning. Roll Tide. Always. We're looking forward to Thanks, many guys, more for happy watching. things to come subscribe, in our future. Subscribe if you haven't. And we will catch you on, on the, the flip side. side.